This is how the stars look up close. Here we have the bright north star, Polaris. Looks kind of like ball lightning, as do most of these stars. We use star maps to try and find names of the stars as best as possible. This is what we call the planet Neptune, which shouldn't be giving off this much light since it's the furthest planet in our solar system from the sun. Next to it looks like three of what we call moons, which seem very far from the planet. Orion's Bell. The stars above famously mirrored below with the Giza pyramids. One can wonder how that's possible if the stars are moving randomly through space. There are unknown moon-like objects here too that are closer to the center star than the moons of Neptune. Sirius, a part of Canis Major, Latin for the greater dog, is the brightest star in our sky besides our sun. And how could we look over trillions of kilometers away, supposedly, so clearly? The Big Dipper of Ursa Major, a part of one of the oldest constellations discovered because it's also the third largest constellation in the sky. The Little Dipper of Ursa Minor, Name that because it's a smaller sized Big Dipper and has the star Polaris in it, which we started the video with. Now we move on to the orange stars of the sky. Etamine, also known as El Tanin. An orange giant star and one eye of the dragon in the Draco constellation. What really causes the different colors in stars? Enif, an orange supergiant star. Named after the Arabic word for nose as it marks the muzzle of a winged horse in the Pegasus constellation. It seems you can find all types of colors in the stars. This is footage of the sun with the solar filter on it. As we zoom into a sunspot that is half the size of Earth, reportedly, I have one question. Why does the sun look so different from all the stars we were just looking at?